so glad you could make it. Welcome to Beatrix Potter's Tea Party. You know, every year around this time, we have the Beatrix Potter Tea Party. The preschool library has been doing it for more than 30 years. My friend Jeanette O'Meara was the first preschool librarian, and some of you may remember her. In fact, some of your parents came to Beatrix Potter Tea Party when Mrs. O'Meara was the librarian. Did you know that the reason we have a preschool library is because after the flood of 1979, which happened during Easter, this Jackson Academy children weren't able to come back to campus for the rest of the school year, just like we're not able to go back to our campus this year. After they were able to come back and the flood was gone, Mrs. O'Meara asked parents to donate new books to make our library. And by the time they came back to school in the fall, we had the preschool library. I'm so glad you could make it. Please have a seat. I'll pour you some tea. Would you like cream or sugar in your tea? Ah, no cream, but a little sugar. All right, I'll get it for you. When I was a little girl, my grandmother used to say, one lump or two. Of course, I would always say two. One, two. And then she would say, one on the side for a treat. While you're enjoying your tea, and maybe a tea cake or a cucumber sandwich or a carrot, I'll read you the story. This book was given to me when my first child was born. It has all 13 of Beatrix Potter's original stories. Her first tale, the tale of Peter Rabbit, was written as a letter to a sick child. She couldn't visit him because she might become ill. That sounds kind of like what we're doing these days, sending video messages and pictures so that people will be happy when we can't visit them. Follow the link and I hope you enjoy the story.